everyone. I've had people asking me if you can use the on the edge alteration dies with your cuddle bug, and you can. But here's the thing. The on the edge cutting pads, you get two of them, they don't fit through your cuddle bug. So what you're gonna have to do is use your B plates, which is fine. I think they did the small on the edge cutting pads so that you could have more control so your paper doesn't slide or anything like that. But that's fine, we can do without that. So you're gonna, each one, except for one of the dies, has two edges that you can cut. And I'm gonna do, this is the bracket one, the brackets, and I'm gonna do the one that's kinda of shaped like a top note. So you're gonna wanna take whatever material, this is medium weight chipboard, and you're gonna place it right where you want it on here to cut whatever particular edge you want. And I always do mine facing up. And whenever you're working with the Sizzix dies with the, um, your cuddle bug, I'm gonna make sure this doesn't slide, that's the hardest part. You're gonna wanna make sure you put your, mat your material goes through first. I wouldn't wanna do it this way because it's gonna shift around. So you're gonna to wanna to put your material through first and you always leave yourself a little bit of space with your um, plates in the front so that you can get it started because the Sizzix dies are thicker. So I'm gonna run this through and I can already see that it's a little crooked. But just to show you, yes, you can use the alteration on the edge dies with your cuddle bug. But remember, gotta use your B plates not on the edge plates, okay? I'm gonna have my husband cut these down so I can use them. They're off by like an eighth of an inch. So I hope this helps somebody out there and enjoy your on the edge alteration dies with your cuddle bug. Have a good day, everybody, bye.